Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today, this is just a shorter video, just to discuss a basic two terms, all right, two or three terms, and the meaning of implicate. Today we discuss meaning of implicate. All right, so maybe you've heard me uh, using this word uh, implicate in the previous video as well. So what is this implicant? This is what? This is the group of ones. Group of ones. The group of ones is called an implicant. It can be a group of, it can be a group of, uh, it can be a group of two ones or it can be four ones, it could be eight ones could be 16 and so on which means it could be uh, in the range of what a power of 2 power of 2 all right so this is what the implicant means all right now we have some terminologies related to it we have the prime implicant we have the prime implicant now, what is this prime implicant? This is also a group of ones, but this is the largest group of ones in the map. Largest group of ones, all right? Okay, now you can call this a, a category of, of the implicant. And another one we have is the essential prime implicant. Essential. Prime implicant. Now, what is this? So, from the prime implicant, it is clear that it is the largest group of ones. All right. So, I write a. Uh, so, I continue it from here. The largest group of ones, or I say, the prime implicant, in which. There is at least there is at least a single one which cannot be grouped in any other way. This is what this is the example. Uh, this is the definition of essential prime implicant. It is the largest group of one in which there is at least a single one which cannot be grouped in any other way. All right. So we see this through an example. Let's say we have we have an example. We have a four variable K map. We have not studied this. We we, we study this in the next lecture. All right. This four variables K map. But here, just just we we have an example. Let's say. This is A, B, this is C, D. Okay, and how is this? So you'll see it in the next lecture that this is a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And similarly, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Okay, so let's say we have the ones in this form. Let's say 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, and 1. So let's say these are the ones, all right? Now, how do you group them? So let's say I'm grouping them. This is the first group of ones, all right? Now, uh, let's say this is the second group of ones. And let's say this is the third group of ones. Is that fine? Now, we've seen the previous video. If I combine this one to this one, so this would be redundant. But, but basically, I can combine it. This would be redundant, but I can combine it if I want. This. Okay. And I have this one as well, which I can combine to this one, which would be redundant too, but I can. All right. So now what else remains? This one and this one remain. Now, which means all these three that I have, I've, I have with these colors, let's say, this is the second. Uh, this is, let's say, the red is the third. And the black is the first. 
So now these are the implicants, which means these are the group of ones. Now which one of them is a prime implicant? So they are all three are prime implicants. Why? Because they are all the largest group of ones. All three are what? All three are prime implicants. But which one of them now do we have the essential prime implicants? So now we see. Now in this group number two, uh, in group number one first, let's say, so you have this one which cannot be grouped to any other one. We don't have a one over here, we don't have a one over here, and we don't have a one over here, which means this cannot be grouped to any other one, which means this group number one is now your essential prime implicant. Because it has a one that cannot be grouped to any other ones. Now for the group number two, it does not have any one that cannot be grouped. All like this one can be grouped to this as well and to this as well. Similarly, this one to this and to that as well. So which means this does not have any other one which cannot be grouped. So this is not an essential prime implicant. And similarly, group number three has a one, this one, which uh, is what which is which uh, cannot be grouped to any other uh, one so this is also an essential prime implicant all right so these are essential prime implicants due to these two ones all right uh, and I hope this is clear the implicant prime implicant and essential prime implicant these all three are prime implicants because they are the largest group of ones in it all right so that's all uh, this was just a, a shorter video just to understand its implicant meaning and in the next lecture we discuss the four variable scheme map okay so see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you goodbye